I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs>
for the Abdul or the Abdulism religion is there is one God. Okay, and then we find that the one God is the God of the Hindus too. And Islam and Hindus, they share exactly the same concept of God, the same carefully. Regarding the concept of God in Islam, it's quote to you Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allahu ahad. Say, He is Allah one and only. Hmm. Allah Hussamad. Okay. Allah, the absolute and eternal. Lam By the way, all the translation is false. As Samad, they don't even know what as Samad means because this is an Aramaic word. And Samad coming from Masmuda, which means the collection of God. You know, when you have like a, a piggy, a coin collection, this is the Samad, Masmuda. So they, those, those Abdu, they do not know even what they are reading. They don't speak Aramaic and they don't know what the word means. And this is why you go to the interpretation of the verse. You will see every scholar give you a different meaning. <laughs> but anyway, continue. Yilid, walam yulad. He begets not, nor is begotten. Mm. There's nothing like him. This is the. And here, by the way, about he did not begot, he did not, has not begotten. This is very silly to say because uh, when Allah he says, if I want to take a partner, I will take it from us. So already there's many of him. So if he did not give birth, obviously there's other Allahs, they are giving birth. Otherwise, how there is many of us? Continue. And then he will say that we have the same exact religion as Hindus. The four line definition of Almighty God given in the glorious Quran. Any person says so and so candidate is God. If that candidate fits in this four line definition, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that candidate as God. And this is exactly what is also mentioned in Hindu scriptures. The same four points. The first. Do you see? exactly what is mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. So why Islam is a superior? If Hindus and Hindus, they believe there are 30, 35 million gods beside one God, which means there's like a like the big God and there's little gods, you know. So Zakir Naik agree that we and, and Hindus, we have the same uh, concept of God. Exactly the same concept of God. He did not say similar. He say exactly, listen carefully, he did not say similar. Exactly what is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. And this is exactly what is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. The same, and this is exactly what is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. I don't know how many times I need to repeat it because I know there's many are very slow. So when we ask a Muslim, what is making Islam a religion? He says to you, we live in one God. What a stupid God you have and let us prove it. When the companions of Muhammad, they came out of Quraysh, out of Mecca, and they joined under the tribes who later they converted to Islam. You will not believe what the Muslim they practice at that time. Read with me carefully and try not to laugh at this hippie, hippie, tippy, hopeless, topless religion. This is the name of the title. The helpers of in, in Medina, those Al Ansar, they call him Ansar, which means the helpers. So Muhammad he immigrated with his gang from Mecca. When the immigrants reached the Medina, Allah Messenger established the bond fraternity between Abu Abdul Rahman and Sa'd ibn Rabia. Rabia. He said, uh, Sa'd said. Uh, to Abdul Rahman, I am the richest of all Ansar. So I want to divide my property between us. And I have two wives. So which of the two you like? Tell me. <laughs> you guys, you read it? Am I making things up? Is that my translation? Is that a Christian website? Is that a Hindu website? This is sunnah.com. This is what? sunnah.com. And this is Sahih al Bukhari. Because we know the garbage, they will say to you, it's weak. They will say, what? It's weak. This is Al-Bukhari.
very authentic. So imagine this filthy cult, they are giving their wives to other Muslims, and a Muslim is asking the other Muslim in the front of the eyes of Muhammad, and actually not only that, Muhammad after, and uh, 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 the reason they did that, because Muhammad, he told them even to inherit each other. They are, they, they, it's a hippie life. So when a guy, he die, other person inherit him, not from his family. Why? Because they are sharing wives. Nobody knows who is the kids for who. So listen at this. I have, I'm going to divide my property between us. And I have two wives. So see which of two you like and tell me. This is the religion who is attracted, attractive to anyone. I have two wives. Look at them. Go check. Go in the bedroom. Hey, wives, take off your clothes. Go check in the bedroom and see which one you like and tell me. So I that may divorce her. Look, that they are, but they are decent, my friend. That just don't take her. I will divorce her. And when she finish her prescribed period, which is called the idda of divorce, then marry her. <laughs> So, you know, when we ask, what is the purpose of any religion? What is this? Here you see how much disrespect for women this garbage religion is. Because the woman, she is in the bedroom, she has no idea what the husband is dealing. He's making a deal. And she is the deal. The guy, he married her, obviously he, he bought her. You know, she is a property. And now he decided to give her to someone else. Not only that, he have two. Choose one. He don't care which one. He would. Look how much love they have to each other. Hey, brother. Listen, Ali Dawa. <laughs> this is Ali Dawa. <laughs> Train Mimi Hijab, his girlfriend. Yeah, brother, I love you really very much. Why oh, you don't go to the bedroom? I have two wives. Take a look. Brother, take a look and see which one you like. And take her. So when those Abdul, they speak about religion, I don't see a religion. I see a garbage, hippie cult. Where is God here? Is that what Muslims look at the women and under the eyes of Muhammad? And then if you continue the story, the guy, he said, okay, okay, what is the, what is the market? <laughs> I said, like, nothing happened, you know? <laughs> and when I go to the market, uh, to the mall, to buy... <laughs> and if you read the rest of the story, it's even more funny. <laughs> the swinger cult of Islam. This is why, if you go in the Quran, you will see... Muhammad is speaking about exchanging wives. If you have my books, Sex and Allah, you will see how those people, they exchange women. Uh, when the wives of Muhammad, they cause him trouble after he starts, you know, after they get him busted, sleeping around, which is, and he, he used to do, but he, he did it this time in their bed and things getting out of control. So you will see here in Arabic, and actually even the Islamic translation, he give him an exchange. Wives better than you. Why? Because they used to exchange wives. And those, the wives of Muhammad now under the threat of exchange. So, May Allah, and here you see, by the way, when the Muslims, they say that Allah is God, read the verse and laugh. It is possible that if he divorce you, his Lord will give him an exchange. Uh, in English, it says it is possible. In Arabic, it says, Asa Rabbuhu. Maybe, not it's possible. You change the translator. Let us find another idiot. 
Huh? See? It may be. Here he said, it may happen. You know? It may happen. You, do Allah knows the future or you do not know the future? It may happen that Allah will divorce him. Who is the one in charge of divorce? Allah or Muhammad? Have you ever heard of a God? He is the one who divorced your wife? She is married to Allah or married to, Allah, to, to Muhammad? Here you will see that Muhammad is using his God as a threat because he became God on earth. Anytime somebody bother him, he make a verse. He say, Allah told me that. And obviously it is him making a threat to get rid of them if they don't behave with him. Not, be, not because he is not the one who is behaving, but he want the women to behave. So this is a super stupid cult. Uh, do we have any Muslim would like to call us even though I'm not planning to stay for long, but I can open my sky for some time. Do we have any Muslim here? <coughs> do we have any Muhammadan? All right, maybe we have somebody. Let us see. We will open a sky for a, for a, a little time. <coughs> text me first, please, because you cannot call me directly. You have to text me unless you you know you did uh, text me before I answer you. Then you will be able to to call. All right, we are opening Skype. Okay, Skype take a little bit of time to update if there is any. Um, okay, we have we have a Muslim. I don't know. This is today. It looked like today. I don't know. <laughs> I will mute the speaker so you don't hear anything from the uh, ringing and knowing ringing of a Skype and tell the guy answer. The answer, Abdul. I'm calling you. He is not answering it. Okay, obviously this guy, he don't want to... He's just a kid. If there's any Muslim would like to call us? Uh, yeah, we have, but this is an old text. I don't know if he's online. Let's try to call him. Don't waste my time, Muslims. If you like to talk, be serious, be adult. Let us see if this guy will answer. <coughs> Hello? 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 Uh, uh, please turn off your camera. Yeah, I saw Hello? your text message. I saw your text message and we are live on air. Do you like to talk? No, I can't talk this time. Okay, no problem. Sorry. All right. Do we have any Muslim? It is January 6, 2022. And Muslims don't dare to say anything. They are brave only to debate people who do not know anything about their cult. Here, the shish kebab time. Do we have any brave? All your potatoes, they disappear. We say, who is a Muslim weak? You know, as you see, I am the one who called them. If you have a sheikh, he is willing to take my call. He is brave enough. Give me his Skype. I will call him immediately. Now, that include even kids like uh, Uthman. He called himself a sheikh, but this guy, he is a bully. He is not a sheikh. He is a potato. But even that, we will take him for, 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 a, for a snack. Do you have any brave Abdul? He dare to speak to me. 
My Skype is open. If there's any brave Abdul with beard, without beard, shake, not shake, there to let me call him. I will call you, my friend. I'm very humble. Or what you need to do, just text me. Do we have any Abdul? No Abdul. So we go back and we laugh at this topic. I think they are ashamed that the Muslims in the time of Muhammad, those are the best of Muslims. The Muslims, they say to you, the companions are the best of Muslims. Those are the best. And look what they are doing. They are giving their wives to each other. Can you believe it? And this is in Sahih al-Bukhari. Muslims, they offer their wives to each other. Read it and love. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. They cannot say, and we can show from other books too. But this is, I mean, Sahih al-Bukhari is the most authentic, supposedly. Brother, you converted to Islam? Okay, brother. I'm going to share my property with you. I'm going to divide it between us. I have two wives. You take one. I keep one. However, go inside. Look at them. See which one you like. Look how giving this religion is. Hmm? I have two wives. And I have two wives. So see which one you like and tell me. It's like saying I have two cars, two donkeys, two horses. This is a wife. Do we have any Abdul? Hmm. I see. Ashamed? So, brother Thithar, we Muslims, we believe one God. And our God is the best God. Okay, the best God, he allow you to do muta. The best God, he allow you to rent women. The best God, he allow you to divorce women as if they are goat. And the best God, or not only that, he allow you to exchange women. Actually, Muhammad himself, he took Safiya from one of his gang. He exchanged her for four women. This is the garbage of Islam. You, you, you have to face it. I want any Muslim to tell me in which logic this religion function, that a believer, he convert to Islam. So now, if I am a Muslim and each one he call, he call me, he leave Islam life on air, I will give him one of my wives. How many I should have? Hmm? Do we have any Abdul want to tell us what's happening? Well, then they're even to call in a normal day. How about this day when this is really extreme stupid? Now, how many of you did save the reference? How many of you saved the reference? Zero, right? Because later you will say, Christian Prince, we can find this. I know them. And by the way, I'm not like I did not come for the three days because, you know, uh, I mean, I don't know what to say. Sometimes you say to yourself, do those people even deserve my time and my work? But then I say to myself, there is a few, they deserve it. So I'm coming here for the few. Honestly, I'm coming here for the few. Because there's many that are coming here, just potatoes. You know, they don't count. They are numbers, but they don't count. There's people who will come in this life and they will go and nobody will remember them. They don't count. 
as many millions who went in the grave before us. But those people will be remembered. So the question you need to ask yourself, you will be remembered for what? So I'm here for the few who will be remembered. The Lord, he says, from their fruits, you shall know them. Do we have any brave Abdul? Anyone? You know, you don't call me, you don't defend Islam, you don't let your sheikh call me. Well, the result of that will be, you know, hilarious. I'm telling you. Will be really sad. For you at least. Look at this goat. Look at this goat. 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. It is going to become... What, what, how many? That over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. A tsunami. Your, your child is going to become an apostate. And by the way, when those people leave Islam, are you going to take the wife back? When those people, they leave Islam, are you going to take the wife back? Because as you see, when you convert to Islam, they give you the wife. They give you one of their wives. When you leave Islam... <laughs> I mean, this Muslim, I just called him. I told him, I'm live. He said, I cannot talk. And now he's saying, when you are live, I just call him. <laughs> What's wrong with people? <laughs> Stupid, is amazing. I just called you and you told me you cannot talk and you are telling me when you will are you alive? I just told you I'm alive. I hate stupidity. Do we have any brave Abdul? Uh, we have calls from yesterday. Let us see this guy. Maybe we can get a fish. And the brother said, sir, there's 100,000 leaving Islam a day. So make donation for us. If you don't make donation, people will leave Islam, brother. All of this just to collect donation. What a scam. Brother sister, if you donate for us, brother, we are going to stop the Muslims from leaving Islam, brother. I'm telling you, brother sister, there's 100,000 leaving Islam a day, brother. Make donation! Make donation! Yeah, donation. Okay, so they are leaving Islam. Now, if you make donation, they will stop leaving Islam. What? I mean, they are there. YouTube cost you nothing. I mean, look at this scam. They have a, a debate with uh, David Wood. After two hours, they make a video cry for donation. Please, brother, sister, no, no, obviously, it's about money. Make donation! Brother, sister! There's 100,000 leaving Islam because Islam is a joke. You make donation, don't make donation, who cares? You are building mosques everywhere. Money is coming like rain from Saudi Arabia, from Qatar, from Bahrain. Terrorists support you, but still, Islam is garbage. What the heck? I mean, what your voice? What it is going to become an avalanche. Uh, come on, you're exaggerating, man. I don't believe 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. 24% of Muslim youth are... Is that including you? I mean, is the number correct? I mean, even when the Muslim, they give numbers. By the way, all Muslim numbers is a fabrication. Even the one about leaving Islam, because 24%, how this guy, he got this number? I, I, I want somebody to tell me how in the world they get the numbers. Did you go and ask every youth? 24% of the youth are leaving Islam, brother Sattar. Where is the number coming from? Those people, they are fraud. I heard they are 25%, percent, brother. Prove me wrong.
Do you have any proof of what you say? Well, you just go in the stage, say whatever, you know, and there's people leaving Islam, yeah. And you have to come with number, and the number is the number is big. So let us let us let us uh, try 24. If 24 did not work, we will try 26. <laughs> What a stupid religion. So, brother and sister, what is the proof that Islam is from God? Brother, we have one God who allow us to exchange wives, brother. We have one God who allow us to do muta, brother. And you want more proof that Islam is from God? Are you deaf? Are you blind? This is love. Look how much love they have between each other. Brother, I have two wives. So go, see which one you like. Look, 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 look what he said. So see which of the two. See, you see the word see? You have to see them first, brother. Okay? Hey, Fatima, Aisha, come over here. You can take off your clothes. Yeah. You know what? You 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 don't take your you very hairy. Don't take your clothes off, otherwise he will not take any of you. So see which one you like, brother. This is a religion. Hmm. You don't know how to state stats work. Khalid, I don't know what does that mean. I don't know. Khalid is saying to me something weird. He says, sound like you don't know how stats work. That's deep. That's really seriously deep, Khalid. I don't know Khalid. You know, Khalid, you remind me of Khalid ibn Walid, the one who killed one of the Muslims. He raped his wife and he, 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 he ate the guy. He cooked him and he ate him. <laughs> I hope you're not the same guy. Are you? One of the best companions of Muhammad and the Muslim, they call him the sword of Allah. He killed the guy. He cooked the guy. And he raped the wife of the guy. And he's a Muslim guy. So, Khaled, I don't know what you mean. Seem you like you don't know how stats work. Uh, how stats work, you tell me. Do you like to call me and tell me how stats work? As you see, we don't know. We learn everything from Muslims. There's a hadith says that in the Nabiya qad allimana kulla shay hatta al khara. The Prophet he taught us everything, including how to do pupu. Brother, people, Muslims before Islam do not know how to do pupu. Do you think it used to come from their nose before? If we search for the word, excuse my language, word shit, we will find tons of hadith, tons of hadith, tons of hadith. All of it is about shit. Your companion, a, a guy, he said to him, an Arab man, he said to him, your companion, mean prophet, even he teach you how to do shit. By the way, they use the word toilet. It's it's false. This false translation. It says al khara literally the word shit and i challenge any muslim to say this is not true al khara so you're a prophet even teach you how to do shit the muslim he says yes brother he teach us how to shit read it and the prophet he teach you how to exchange wives Khalid, uh -huh. you see, my friend Khalid is a very nice person. He said, it's not my job to educate fools. Mm. Yeah, Khalid, you know, it's not your job, brother. Mm. It's the job of Allah. The one who made the sun sit in murky water and he made the sperm became a kunji, the blood, and he made the women's sperm come from her ribs. It's not my job to educate fools. That's very nice of you. It's not your job. Because you're a fool, how you can educate us? I mean, how in the world there's a person, he claimed that he is a smart, he believed that there is a God, if he bow down to him and kill some people, this God will make his penis endless. 
By the way, what about your testicles? They will be in this too. What is the size of your testicle? Imagine your penis is in this and your... And how you can walk with this penis? And you're talking about a fool? I mean, it must be true God. I mean, only true God promise us endless penis. So you are going to be in Washington, D.C., next to Joe Biden. And then Joe Biden, he asked you, uh, <clears throat> what is that? Uh, you say, this is my uh, uh, penis. Oh, uh, are you like from the pipeline company coming here to strike against me because I cut the pipeline? And the Muslim, he would say, he would hold it. He would say, Och, no, don't cut it, man. This is not a pipeline. It's a true penis given to me by Allah because I was a true believer. So this is the religion. Call me and show everybody how stupid this God is. I mean, do, I mean, do, do even Muslims have a brain to believe in such a garbage? There's a God who will make your penis in this because you believe in him and he will make the vagina fit for it. So what, we will have a vagina like all the way from France to uh, Seven Galaxy? It must be true God. It must be true God. Hmm. Amar saying, have some manner, man. See. Are you saying that to me, Ammar, or to your prophet? Because your prophet is the one who said that. I'm reading your prophet words. Are you saying that your prophet have no manner? <laughs> you see, they get hurt. The second you read for them what their prophet said, they get hurt. And suddenly they are speaking about good manner. Well, we just showed you Muslims exchanging wives, and you are talking about good manner. Doing muta. Manner? Do you have any? Can I take your wife and you take my wife? What is that? And you are talking about manner? The prophet, he go to his own son house when the wife is alone and he flirt with her. And he said to her, praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart, my heart flip for you. And he said that loudly so she can hear it. Is that the good manner you are talking about? I want to learn about it. So do we have any Muslim who have a good manner? He can call us and school us. <clears throat> do your book ship to Bahrain Island? No, my friend, you can try in Amazon. You can try in Amazon and see if they ship to Bahrain. Do we have any Abdul? What they will say? They can defend? Imagine, imagine, God forbid, God forbid, forgive me, those names, I will mention their names. Imagine, Peter, he said to Paul, you converted to Christianity, Paul? Really? I'm going to divide my property with you. And now Paul, his name will be Muhammad, and Peter, his name will be Ali. So Ali, he said to Muhammad, you converted to Islam? Okay, listen, I have two wives. Go, 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 in, go inside. Go inside and see which one you like. Brother, choose anyone, please. I see a guy here is desperate to get rid of his wives. I mean, how bad they are. And Muhammad, he approved that, and then he told him even to inherit each other until he made a verse later because people start talking about this hippie cult. He says, you should inherit only from your blood line. Do we have any Abdul? People, did you save the reference? How many of you saved the reference? I posted the link already. Give me one if you save the reference. Because later you will ask me, where is that? We, we can find it as usual. And I will not even answer. And don't go and ask me in Patreon where I can find this. I stay here so I can answer you. So why you go to Patreon, send him email. When I answer, 
in public, everybody will get the benefit. When I answer one person, only one person. I'm not going to do that. I answer everybody. I will call you and shut you up. But I am at work. Will you be again in five hours, Sufyan? Okay, Sufyan Abdul. Where you been last time when I was live? When you been the day before it? When you been the month before it? When you been the year before it? And always you are at work and look how good this Muslim is. You give him a sari, he go to YouTube chat. <laughs> Praise be to Allah. Okay, are you going to go be there until five hours? I am at work now. They are paying me salary in the gas station, but I'm not going to work. I'm watching YouTube. Praise be to Allah. I'm a very good employee. But don't tell my employer, okay? Mm. Mm. Decency. A lot of decency. He's at work now. He's busy at work. He's very busy. Come into Christian Prince channel. Busy. May, may, Allah, may Allah bless your heart and your decency for the hard work you do watching YouTube. I love it, brother. Brother, shouldn't we call the owner, the employer, to increase your salary because you are sacrificing yourself to just to be there, to give a blessing for the business? I think this is your business, just to give a blessing for the business. You go there, the owner make money just because you are there. Ah, Sufyan. You remind me of Abu Sufyan. Abu Sufyan, your prophet, he paid him money to convert to Islam. Can you believe it? Look how the scam work. He could not convince them to convert to Islam. He paid them money. Are you going to say this is not true? Brother, are you the son of Abu Sufyan? Who the Prophet paid him money to convert to Islam? A lot of money. This guy was a gang. He's a criminal. And later those are the, became Bani Umayyad, the one who controlled all of Islam actually. So they convert to Islam, they took the money and then they became the Caliphate and they killed the grandsons of Muhammad. Gang. He wanted Islam to be victorious by gang. And that's what the gang do. They killed his family, they took over, and they became the caliphate. Hmm? Chapter 9, verse number 60. Maybe a Muslim will say to you, this is not true. It doesn't say that, CP. Uh -huh. Really? Yes, it doesn't say that, CP. Uh, okay, can we read the interpretation? No, don't read the interpretation, CP. Uh, why not? Because the interpretation is made by people like you, CP. And they are a human, CP. Oh, your prophet is a human too. And you're a human, aren't you? Oh, no, I'm not a human. I'm an alien. I voted for Joe Biden. We are alien. Here we go. It says, uh, And those who their heart are to be reclined, reconciled, sorry, by giving them gifts as such, as Abu Sufyan and his companions, and there were 15 gang men, money. They could not believe in Islam, but money, work. Do we have any Abdul? Abu Sufyan, look, Abu Sufyan disappeared now. He don't even have text. You voted for Joe Biden? Well, you must be an alien to vote for Joe Biden. And look now, he's making drama about uh, uh, January 6th. This guy, he want to cover his, his uh, trash. Uh, uh, gas is expensive. Food is expensive. Hey, January 6th, Trump, he did uh, want to destroy democracy. And now they want to make a drama about it for the coming century, you know? But just because they have nothing, you know, it's just a stupid presidency. Garbage in, garbage out. Who is going to vote for this guy unless he's an alien? I mean, this guy hardly he remember his name, and his vice president she 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 is like a, you know, <laughs> she's in high, she's in drugs. Stupid American. There's nobody can beat stupidity of Islam except the American people, my friend. Unbelievable. 
genius they are. If you don't believe me, look at the Congress who is presenting them there. See who they elect? I will tell you who you are. Now, do we have any Muslim yet? So Muslims, I'm still, I'm still single. So if I convert to Islam, how many of you will give me your wife? Let us, be, let us be honest. Let us have a deal here. As long as you see, you pay, and you uh, divide even property. You know? So if I convert to Islam now, how many women I can get? Who is here have an offer for me? Who is going to call me and say, well, Christian Prince, listen, I have four wives. Take two and keep two for me. <laughs> All right, guys, forget about Joe Biden. Now, we don't want him to, you know, and Joe Biden is so stupid at the point, even he caught Muhammad saying, the prophet says, the one who sees something wrong, he should have changed it by his hand. He's asking them to do jihad, the coward is stupid. I mean, look how stupid this Biden is, just to, just to gain their vote in, in Michigan. Garbage in, garbage out. Do we have any Abdul? All right, we are not going to stay here long then. I want to leave you in peace. And again, by the way, if you want me really to come back faster, please share the link. Because when I look at the number, I see not many people see it yet. I say to myself, okay, well, still let us wait until, because I'm not going to make a video. This is what they do. If I go live on air right now, after two minutes or two hours, people, they will watch the last video and the one before it, they ignore it. So I will go live when we have enough review. I mean, at least 20,000, come on. So I will go live again, even if it's after two hours. If you make it in two hours, I have 20,000, I will go back on, on air. So share the link, tell your friends, do something, doesn't cost you money. Let people see the stupidity of this cult. All right? Uh, does the Quran support uh, killing homosexual? No. The Quran does not support killing homosexual. Absolutely. The Quran says, فَأَذُوهُمَا Which means, according to the interpretation, beat them with sandals. Beat them with sandals. So if you go in the Quran, we will see this. <clears throat> Read carefully. This is a chapter four, verse number sixteen. It says, And if two of them, which mean two men, Men who commit that, Luat, uh, homosexuality, intercourse, punish them both with insult and beat them with sandals. And as I think, if you beat a homosexual with sandal, he might get more excited. So uh, the Quran, no, the Quran does not say to kill them. It just beat them with sandals. And if they repent, let them go. However, if a woman, they are lesbian, Women, they will be jailed until they die. Chapter 4, verse number 15. As you see here. So women, they have to be jailed until they die. And here you see that Islam doesn't give uh, any fair uh, treatment for the same crime, supposedly. Ali Raza, you want to call me? Are you a Muslim, my friend? Ali Raza. Are you a Muslim? I take calls in Skype only from Muslims. Because here we debate. Do we have any Abdul? If you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will see that all of Quraysh was homosexual. I'm not exaggerating. I have reference. Go read it. Go read my books, Sex and Allah, and you will see all Muhammad family. Actually, even Muhammad, he was homosexual. He put eyeliner, or he pee like a woman. He even he said, I never receive Quran except in the clothes of my wife. The Muslim they say, clothes of my wife mean house of my wife. But this is Aisha. If this is true, that means Muhammad he never received Quran in the house of Khadija. 
Eliezer is an ex-Muslim. Okay, my friend, just call me fast. I will I will take your call, Eliezer. Just text me and I will I will take your call. Can you talk about Musaylama? Is he a real person or a mean liar? Well, you know, the Muslim they fabricate stories about him, saying that he made uh, try to make Quran. It's a silly Quran, obviously, it's not him. The guy obviously is way better than Muhammad. For, for sure he's a liar like Muhammad too. But what do, this is what the Muslim they do. They are bully. So they call the guy Musaylama just to make fun of him. And they add the word Kadhab at the end of his name to be the liar. Bully religion. You know? Uh, but if we compare between Musaylama and Muhammad, we will have that Musaylama was way better. And actually Muhammad, he stole from him even the names of his God. You see, when uh, when when Muhammad first time he used the word Ar Rahman. When after he received the letter of Musaylama. And suddenly Muhammad he start calling his God Rahman. But this is the name. of a, a person who claimed to be a prophet, his name is uh, uh, Rahman al-Yamama. So suddenly Muhammad, he start writing letter saying, in the name of Allah, the most merciful, Ar-Rahman al-Rahim. People, they said, who is Ar-Rahman? Muhammad is worshiping new God. The only Rahman we knew is Rahman al-Yamama. Then Muhammad, he had to refute them. Look what he did. <laughs> they said, okay, Muhammad now is copying the names of other gods. So he said, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, okay. A cry into Allah or a cry into the Rahman or into whatever you cry, uh, it's the same for all the beautiful names belong to Allah. Mm -hmm. Is that inclu inclu include uh, Joe Biden? All beautiful names belong to Allah, so any beautiful name is Allah? I mean, look at the response, see how stupid it is. So, and here you notice that this is a chapter 17. This is almost, you know, like uh, 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 long after Muhammad became a prophet. And he never mentioned the word Rahman before. Never, never, never. This is the first time. So where was a Rahman before? He copied it. If you go to the interpretation, this is a chapter 17, verse number 110, sorry. Read with me and love. Can Muslim deny it? It's there in their books. He never ever mentioned the name Allah Rahman before. Suddenly Muhammad he starts saying Ar Rahman. <clears throat> Do you see it? This is the Muslim interpretation. There's a book, it's called Asbab al Nuzul, which means the reason for the verses to be revealed. Here it says, he give you the verse here, and the Messenger of Allah, bless him and give him peace, stood up for the right uh, uh, prayer, and he keeps saying in his, uh, and, O Rahman, O Rahman, O Merciful, O Rahman, the adulterer said, Muhammad used to call one unto one Allah, and now he is calling to two God. Allah and the Rahman. Why they are saying that? Because he never mentioned this name before. And this is telling you that Muhammad is a scam. Can you only, you can only debate with Muslims? Can you never debate an atheist? Sure, sure, call me. Are you an atheist? Joe, are you an atheist? I will take you for a snack. Call me, text me in Skype. Guys, we have an atheist. You want to you have fun? I like to have a fun for with atheists today. I will give you 15 minutes. Do you want to call me Mr. Joe? Joe? I'm scared of atheist because they will hit me with the theory of monkeys. Uh, and now he will invite his clan. Uh, 
the Chapanzi clan. Man, oh man. They call me, they call me. For me, the most stupid is the one who say I am an atheist. Because you are calling me to prove to me that you're an animal. So I will call you before even you start. How are you, Mr. Animal? I agree. You are an animal. And actually look at you. Look at you, how cute you are when you are born. Peace be upon you when you are born. Peace be upon you when you came from the zoo. And when you start calling me and debating me, now your lies will grow your nose. Alhamdulillah. I am an atheist. I don't believe in Allah. I believe in Darwin. I used to be a monkey. What a bit hater. You don't dare to debate an atheist. Debate you about what, you idiot? Do you have anything to debate about? Potatoes. When I say stupidity is amazing, uh, you know, we have a reason for that. If you call him an animal, he will get upset. He will report it to YouTube. But then he called me to debate me to prove to me that he's an animal. Because you want the debate, you are an animal. Show me your ass. Is it red? How rude. Did he say show me your ass? Well, you, if you are a monkey, it have to be red. I mean, what happened? Darwin, he painted that out for you? How come your ass is not red? Chimpanzee, they have red ass. What happened? Do you think by time Chloris was able to make it white or black? Oh boy. <clears throat> All right. Let us see. Maybe this is the atheist. I don't know. <coughs> Hello? No. Good evening, my boy, my man. I have to mute uh, YouTube for a second. Now I have muted it. How are you doing? I'm fine, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Yes, sir. Alhamdulillah. You are a Muslim? Alhamdulillah. What does that mean? If you ask me that I am a Muslim, I have to say no, Alhamdulillah. You said, you said to me, Alhamdulillah. What does that mean? Yes, I have uh, learned it by that way. No, no. What, what, what Alhamdulillah mean? Alhamdulillah, I don't know what that means, but I have learned it that I have to say that. Hold on, hold on. If so someone you, has... So you are saying to me, Alhamdulillah, but you do not know what the word means? No. I... What? I have learned it. You have learned it? Are you there? Yeah, no, I am not there. I, I, have, you are there. I have learned. Yes, I know. You are there. I am here. No, I, am I am here. here. You are there. I know. No. No, I'm here and you are there. You are there. No. You are there. And I am Okay. Here. So you do not know what Alhamdulillah means, right? I don't know what it means, but I have learned it from my teachers uh, since I was a kid on okay. that way. So, you know? so why you keep saying I don't know what it means. So you keep you keep, you ask you me keep... if you if you ask me what means um, subhanallah or something like that or al fatiha I don't know the meaning too. But I know I, when I have to say it, when I have to pray it on a prayer, I have to recite uh, Al-Fatiha, for example. Okay, I will help you. Alhamdulillah means praise be to Allah or thanks to Allah. It's, it's a good thing. It's okay. a good thing. But do you think that God, he will say that to himself? For sure not. For sure not. Because you said to me, you recite Al-Fatiha. So how you explain to me? This is Al-Fatiha. I recite Fatiha. If I, if I do a prayer, I have to recite Al-Fatiha, for example. My friend, my friend. Or Ahad. Okay, how Allah, he say to Allah, Alhamdulillah. Here we go. This is Allah. Uh, saying to Allah, you, are, you said to me, you, you said saying, to me, you I asked you, I asked you, do, can, is Allah That's going to say Alhamdulillah, thanks to Allah? You said no, for, of course not. For sure okay, not. okay. so ch not. chapter one, verse number two, read it. Chapter one, it's verse long. number two. Yeah, Allah, he says, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Allah, he says yes. to Allah, uh, oh, Allah saying to Allah, Alhamdulillah. How you explain that to me? How that work with you? I know we, we as Muslims, we say that uh, the Quran is the speaking word by Allah. I know that. I know, I know. But, but how I, Allah, how Allah, focus with me. How it, Allah, it, he say, he said, Alhamdulillah. He said, he say it. let me explain it to you. He say it in the third person. Yeah, why he says that? Like I am talking. I, um, for example, I am uh, I am talking with you, and I say to you, I am uh, playing football right now. 
All but I can said, say. But you just said I am. You did not say uh, uh, he is. Third person. Okay. I'm talking so, in the third so, person. But you if know? you are the one is talking, how you say the third person? You are the one is talking, and how Allah He says thanks to Allah. Who, it's, what, it's, what is the point? What is the point of Allah? That, 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 what is the point? Okay, my friend. What is the point? Let me say, let me say third person. I will, I will go with you. Third person, fourth person, no, no, ten person, no problem. Please, 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 but why Allah please, 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 says all things to Allah? Don't shout over me, please. Every time, same problem with you. Don't shout over me. Please. I'm not shouting over you. You know, just, just take it yeah, easy. Take that, it easy. Let's stay at the topic. So how Allah? Because I have to repeat my question one thousand times. What is the point? What? I I have to repeat my question because Muslim don't answer it. So. Why I'm Allah going to saying to himself, take I don't it, care if Allah it. speak in the third person or not. Why? What is the yes. point for Allah to say thanks to Allah? Yes, he says to us, he he explained it to us how we have to recite it. He no, can he did not say, okay, show me in the, show me in the chapter, my friend. God who has show me in the chapter where he said anything. to you, okay, show me in the chapter where he says to you, pray like this. And then I will accept. Did he say to you, pray like he that? don't. Huh? Um, especially that he's not, especially that he's not saying that in the Quran, but in the Hadith or something like that, he's doing that. Okay, show me you in the Hadith. The, okay, show, the show me in the, show me in the Hadith. Show me it. in the Hadith. Show me in the Hadith that Allah He said to you that when you pray, pray yeah. like that. There's any place where it stands. I'm sure because uh, 1.5 billion Muslims uh, doing that uh, without, uh, without, uh, without. We did not hear the news. Twenty-four percent they left Islam yesterday. You didn't hear the news. All the youth, twenty-four percent. So they are not even six hundred Muslims. Six hundred million Muslims. So listen, listen. Okay, you call me. Forget about our topic. Forget. I want to ask you. You call me to do what exactly? What do you know? Uh, what do you mean? You call me to prove to me Islam from God. Is that what you call me? No, I I have called you because I have to ask you why you are so hateful because uh, of Muslims. Okay, this is, the, this is a very good question. First of all, I'm, I don't hate Muslims. Actually, if you watch my video, you see every time it I go live on like here, I say, you are I, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can say whatever you want, but as long as you are mentioning this, do your, you God, do your God, Allah, make the Christian loving the most people or Say what you want. I'm asking you, do Allah make the Christians loving or hateful people? The, pe uh, the Christians? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, every... <laughs> Every people, every man of the world in the world can do whatever he wants. No, I'm asking a specific question. Did Allah freedom make the Christians? Choice? Did Allah listen carefully? Did Allah make the freedom Christians? Of choice? Listen carefully. Talk without listening. Did Allah make the Christians hateful people or he make them loving people? I don't think Christian you, people hateful. You don't. So okay, Or loving. You know, there's okay. three, everybody's okay. freedom of choice, no? Okay, read the Quran, read the Quran with me. Obviously, you do not know your religion. Chapter 5, verse 14, it's in the screen. I know my religion very good. You are what? And now you go into... I know my religion really good. And now you are showing me a verse where it says the opposite. But there are that many uh, verses. They say, uh, love your um, friends or love you the christian or your your show me one show me one show me one it says love the christians give me a second i will give, give you that uh, i will give you 10 million years oh no 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 no, no I, I i don't need that money hmm. that many times look Surah 109. Surah what? 109? Yes. Okay. What? Uh, okay. 109. Let's go there. And? Uh, one second. One second. This is the one. Is the one make you love the, uh, the Christians or the one? This is bully. This is the bully uh, chapter. Muhammad here is doing bully business. Read it. Mm -hmm. No, no, you chose one already. We can go. We give you a second for the second one. Read the first one. So here, Muhammad is doing bully, and this is stupid of Muhammad to say, because let me ask you: uh, did, did, the uh, of, did the people of Quraysh convert to Islam? Mm. They convert, right? Mm. Uh, Surah one hundred nine. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Chapter 109, Surah 6. Your your religion Chapter... and me, me my religion. Uh, okay, but this is a this is wrong. Because look what One happened. Second, my girlfriend, look, my girlfriend uh, wants to focus, hear a little focus bit. With, oh, yeah. Focus with me. Focus with me, Abdul. Focus with me. Don't go. Did the okay. people of Quraysh did the people of Quraysh convert to Islam or not? That okay. are the Jewish people, I think. The people of Quraysh, people of Quraysh. He's speaking to the Kuffar. People of Quraysh. The, the, the people of Quraysh was the for, the former Jews, uh, I think. Ah, they are Jews. Ah, okay. Quraysh, they were Jews. Uh -huh. Was there you the know, former Jews? And you know Islam very well. Uh -huh. Was that not the okay. former but, Jews? Uh, focus with me. Let us go with you. Let us go, guys. They, uh, Quraysh, they used to be Jews. Okay, then no, I, I heard they are Hindus. But anyway, so how he said to them in that chapter, I will worship what you, I will not worship what you worship, and you will never worship what I worship, and later they became Muslims. Yes, that's true. So what's true? true. This me, Muhammad is a fraud. If Allah saying to him that you will never worship what they worship, and they will never worship what you worship, and then all of them they became Muslim, that's mean this is a false prophecy. You know why? Why? Later they, later they have seen this is the true religion of God, and no then problem. Okay, guys. Religion. So later they saw that this is the true religion of God by by Muhammad putting the soul in their neck. But it says here, nor you will worship what I worship. Nor you will what worship. So, so they will not worship what I am worshiping. Okay. So, but they worship later. So Muhammad here, he made a false prophecies. Yes, because later they have seen that the uh, Islam is the right one Abdul, to follow. How, and then how, they thick, have, they how have thick your brain is? Focus, focus. If I am a prophet and I say that I will not worship what you worship, and you will not worship what I worship, that means you will never do so. And here later they worship and they accept. So this is false statement. Yes, at the time you was thought, but, uh, but uh, later they have become Muslims, you know? Okay. Because they have seen what's the truth. I didn't know what they eat before. My friend, listen carefully. Look, if I am uh, a prophet, for example, I can do if something. If I am a prophet, wrong, the, who is the one? Look, who is uh, the one who is talking the, here? Who is the one who is phoning for ten minutes and you have talked nine minutes? No, let me say one. Listen, who is the one who is talking here? Who is the one who is talking here? Allah, correct? Yes. Okay. Do Allah knew no, the future? It's the uh, Jibril uh, given to Muhammad. Okay, but no problem. But who is the one who is talking? Is Allah, right? Uh, it's uh, the word of God uh, that uh, said from Jibril to Muhammad and Muhammad had um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Jibril the pizza boy, he brought the verses to Muhammad, but this is the one Allah take talking. So they will not worship what Muhammad worship. And later all of them became Muslims. So Muhammad is a false prophet. Because of that matter? Yes, he's a false prophet. If you make false prophecy, you're a false prophet. Very simple. Yeah, but, but there are that many false uh, verses in the Bible too. You can you cannot say that. Okay, uh, I, I will go example. with you. Okay, hold on. If there is a false verses in the Bible, then how the stupid Quran says I confirm the Bible? Yes, he confirms because we, we love the Christian. No, this is not a question. Don't change topic. You said there's false verses in the Quran, in the Bible, right? Yes, in the okay. Torah too. So how there is false verses in the Bible and the because, Quran confirms? False, false listen, caref right listen carefully. Listen carefully. You don't listen. This is I the have problem. No, you don't Man listen. Has no, no the you don't listen. No, you are there. I'm here. Listen. That's, so that's here it says, here it comes. No. Okay. Okay. Chapter 2, verse mm -hmm. number 89, it says that the Quran come and confirming what is in their position. So how you say the Bible have a lot of false verses and the Quran confirm it? Yes. Yes. What yes? I don't see what's the problem. So what the problem? The problem is you said to me that the Bible have a lot of false verses, and then we have yes. verses in the Quran said the Bible Quran confirmed the false verses. So how ah, Quran now you are the false verses? Doing, huh? Because uh, who is the stupid here? I'm asking you. How you say you the Bible stupid. have? What, how you are? Talking? You, you just say the Bible have have false verses, and then we find that the Quran confirmed the false verses. So who is yes. the stupid? Yeah, reject the Quran. I have no problem. Reject it, but reject okay, the, the, so you reject, reject the, the Bible. So, so you reject, reject the, the Bible too. Okay, so you reject no, the Quran. No, I don't. No, no I so don't you... reject it. But you say that. No. Then you have to reject the Bible too. No, hold on. It's you who claim that there's false verses, not me. Yes. Okay. It can so, be false verses. Okay, I want you to be but... a man and be consistent. So, if the Bible have false false verses and you believe in that, 
And then the stupid Quran says, there's no false verses. So one of you is lying. Who? You or Allah? Which one? That the man is lying. The man who have written it down. Because the Allah has not lied. The one who wrote those verses in the Quran is, a li is lying? Yes, Uthman is the liar. They have, um, ah, Uthman. Not, is, that, is that Uthman, Uthman ibn Farouk or this? Yes, like, like the Hadith. There, there are many, many weird Hadiths too. But this is Quran. And I think the man, but this is not, Quran. Not, like all Hadith. The Quran is also Hadith. Ah, the Quran is a Hadith. I agree with you. You are right in this one. So, it's also Hadith. So, so how now how we can trust the Quran to be the book of Allah? Like you wanted to show me a verse from the Quran to prove you wrong. And now you are saying mm -hmm. to me that the one, the book you choose to prove me wrong with is full of lies. Yes. Okay, how this can be a because, book of God to because, follow then? Because, easy to say, because this is the word of God and then men have um, corrupted it. They have um, uh, take some verses and put there in to control the people around them. Like the Bible too. The uh, Bible have changed 500 times. Like 500 the, Quran, times. the Quran have changed Maybe 1,000 times. I don't know. Uh, but the Quran, the Torah have changed too. Because of okay. the devil. How you know, who how, you know how you know that the Bible changed 500 times? I if know. You not do you have the I original? Can you, do you have the original to compare? I, I, I can explain it to you. No, no, Every you know, you know, little no. in the age of four or five knows what is right and knows what is wrong. Every, what, what, what? every children knows what is bad and knows what is Good. And that's okay. how I go on it. As, uh, as I see, there is, for example, something bad in the Quran, in the Bible, or in okay. the Torah. Okay, then so now I reject let us, me, me Why and you, I reject, let okay, me, let me and you now, we agree. So me and, me, let me, and, finish, Abdul, please let me and you, we agree that please the Quran, finish, the Quran Abdul, is, yes, a, is, a, is, a, is a book of fabrication. The Quran is a book of fabrication. Ah, we agree. The man me and you. Thank you. you don't understand what I want to ask you. Then. I want to ask you. There is, there is one. What you want. There is one chapter in the Quran. Me, but... Is if there is one chapter in the Quran is not fabricated. As long as you agree, the Quran is fabricated. Is there is one chapter in the Quran there is not fabricated. Are many fabricated there, there are one, many fabricated verses in the Quran. And there is one chapter in the Quran be, is not fabricated. Look, Christian, look. That's the looking. problem is, uh, there are very, your name is Christian, Princess Save Christian. If you want, I can call you Sarah or what you want. But let me explain. But, but, I mean, you know, listen, this is not the topic now. My name, your name doesn't drive around. I mean, we are talking Look, about the topic now, is, so I'm asking there you. Is, if there is the one Quran chapter is, in the Quran. Is, there is one chapter the in the Quran is not, is not a fraud. Because you say the Quran is full of a fraud. Yes, but okay, name for me. Okay, name for me. One chapter in the Quran is the fraud. With the proof. Uh, for example, demon comes from the ribs, or what? the backbone of the ribs, or a woman has demon stuff like that. Those are what? Those are fabricated, or they are real? That are <laughs> they are fabricated. Okay, you are laughing at the Quran now. That's what they're called. Okay, they are fabricated. I'm asking you the opposite now. I'm asking you the opposite. So I agree I love with you. It. Obviously, this is going to be from God. God saying I the sperm coming from the women ribs, and, and yeah. men have a rib. Sperm coming from the backbone. This is stupid. I agree with you. But the is question is, 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 there is, is, the chapter, question is, is, if there is what, one chapter, there is one, Abdul, there is one chapter, I'm repeating my question for the hundredth time, man. Come on. If there is one chapter in the Quran, it's not fabricated. No, it's complicated. Ask your question and then let me finish. For one if there time, is one, one. If there is one, listen carefully. If there is one chapter in the Quran, it's not fabricated. The mic is yours. There are not, there are 10 or hundreds. Give me one. I have given to you one. Which one? With the sperm from the backbone. No, no, I'm not talking about the one fabricated. And the one is not fabricated. Not fabricated. Give me one chapter. Is not fabricated. Uh, you are not listening. Not fabricated. Uh, not the fabricated not one. Listening. I have given to you one. Surah one? 100. But, chapter but this one, 100. But this one will prove it's fabrication but, because... But this is one proved to be fabrication because if Allah is the one no. who's talking, shouldn't he knew that those people yeah. will believe in Allah and they believe in his messenger later? God is only saying, God is only saying, you're your religion and for me, my religion. Okay, no the problem. The other verses what have the man corrupted okay. first of all, doesn't count. First of all, this, ver this chapter is, is abrogated because Allah in the chapter of the sword, he says, Tell them you cannot you find them. Quran. Who are you? What? 
Who are you? You cannot abrogate verses from the Quran. Who are you? Okay, have you ever heard? Of, have you ever heard? Okay, have you ever heard uh, uh, the Quran saying you can uh, you cannot marry Christian women? You cannot marry Christian. I can for as a man, I can marry Christian woman. You can. I can, but a but a, a Muslim girl cannot marry a Christian man. Okay. But the Quran, does the Quran say is always the same or he abrogate the Quran? I don't understand what you're trying to say now. Okay. When did Muhammad, uh, uh, did the Quran say is don't marry Christian women? I don't know. I ask you, you say, I think no, you we can marry them. I think you can, yes. No, I'm, it's not up to you to say I think. I'm asking you a serious question. I think I can. Later I can com maybe convince my wife to change their religion too. And then I have to do another question. something good. There's another question. You are, your question Muslims, is, uh, do the are, Quran... Ex you, you, are you are not listening. You are not listening. Listen carefully. Do the Quran allow you or forbid you from marrying... From a Christian woman. I don't know really. But you said I don't know me, that. You said to me you are allowed. I think I think yes. I think, but I don't know because I think yes because I don't see anything wrong with that. You know. It's another question. Probably I mean, okay. do you do you have a I shake? Do you have a shake? You can call him so he can join I'm us. I'm not a shake. Huh? I'm not a shake. I know you are not a shake, but do you know somebody? Yes. Do you know somebody is a sheikh? He can join us. I, I know many sheikhs. You know many sheikhs? Why well, you don't call any one of them? Yes, of course I do. I know many, many sheikhs. I have learned it from sheikhs. I have learned all the surahs, everything I need to pray okay. or stuff but like you, that. But I you are the one who said, okay, why well, you don't call so them? What? Because you don't know your religion, obviously. I'm asking you. If there is a verse in the Quran that says, don't, don't understand. marry. I don't understand Arab language. That's the reason okay. why I don't know. Can everything. you call I don't know. I heard, I heard there is people in YouTube, they claim to be Sheikh, like Uthman ibn Affan. Can you call That's him? That's an idiot. Do you, do you have his Skype? He's an idiot? No, I don't have his. Why I have to think his Skype? I think he's an idiot. Like uh, Mohammed Hijab is an idiot. Like Ali Dawa, there's an idiot. This all idiots. Uh, they are not talking for me. They are not talking for me as a Muslim because they are all liars. Why they are liars? What, what, what? Uh, what this Uthman he did to you? Why you are saying he's a liar? Every uh, Muslim who is in the public and doing dava, every one of them lies. Why? Because they play in Takia games. Uh, I know that. Are, and how I know that you are I playing Takia too? Very well. And why you are not playing Takia? Why you don't? You said they are playing Takia. Is Takia from the Quran? Your voice is cutting. Your voice is cutting. I'm asking you. Is the taqiyya you are saying the voice playing? No, my voice is fine. Yeah, no, no. Okay, so you are saying that the Muslims, those Muslims are playing taqiyya. So what's wrong with taqiyya? Yes. Isn't the Quran teach you taqiyya? Yes, it teaches taqiyya, but I think men have uh, written such uh, stupid stuff. I don't think that comes from Allah. For sure, okay. I'm not thinking that. So you are saying now the teaching of taqiyya is from the devil. And those Muslims, they yes. are following the Quran. Devil, follow... devil man. Okay. From the, uh, so those Sheikh Uthman and Mimi and Sisi and Dudu, they are following the Quran. Yes. And by that, they are deceived yes. by Shaitan because they follow the Quran. Yes, they are deceived. Okay. So, uh, when you, Quran, so, uh, so what I learned from you now, what you are saying to me, when we Muslims follow the Quran, we learn how to lie. Yes. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So... Okay, so now why so why you want to follow the Quran if the Quran is teaching you how to lie? What kind of religion is religion is? For example, they are, they in the Quran are that's only example, okay? There are for example ten chapters, and eight of them was from Allah, and two of them was from from a devil man who have uh, put it in to deceive people to control them. Yeah, and you, kebab, as no. a Muslim, have to follow the right way from that tent. You have to uh, see that. You have to acknowledge that that these two verses are not from God. We, okay. 
I, I know Muslims are saying for 1,500 years that the Quran has never changed or stuff like that, but that's not true. That's mm. not true. The Quran mm. is not uh, 100 years old. I know that. The, the, the Quran 19, is not what? The Quran how many years the, old? Uh, 1924, I think. The um, Egypt version has um, copied and uh. sent it over the world, I, I think, stuff like okay. that or something like that. I, I have see. seen a video from Jay Smith and that's true what he says there what he claims is really uh, true. i know that but okay let, let me ask you are, you are you a true muslim or you are just trolling us and making things like up why i have to troll you can you say shahada For, of course i can say okay say the shahada i should one la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh okay and do you believe I am muhammad, do you believe in muhammad is a prophet i think yes do you believe that muhammad was so good in bed in bed? Bed? Are you at... Have I understand it right? Same. Do you believe that Muhammad was a very good in bed? In bed? In bed, yeah. Boom, boom, you know. Hey, are you doing a YouTube channel or Playboy channel? I don't know. You tell me. What is this for a filthy question? Because this is what your prophet, he kept talking, he went around telling people how good he's in bed. I don't think, I don't think he told stuff like that. Well, how then people, they will know if he was having sex. I okay, how, how I will know, how I will know that you have sex with all your wives if you don't tell people. I mean, this is something between the wives and the husband, correct? Yes, correct. And okay, so, that's the reason. So, so, so how people then, so, so, do how the, so how the people knows then, if, the, if you are saying this is filthy topic, right? So yes. how the people, they knew, how they knew that Muhammad used to do boom boom to all his wives without even washing. They they know nothing. I think they have fabricated stuff to to uh -huh. uh, look bad, make him look okay. bad. So you you don't think your prophet was good in bed? I don't know what he's doing in bed, and I and I know one thing for, uh, for sure that he have never talked stuff like that. I think the men around him have corrupted stuff like that to look in bed. To make him look bad. Uh, so the Muslims they made uh, uh, books to make Muhammad look bad. I don't think that the, the, these people are real Muslims. Mm, I see. They try, I think they tried to corrupt the corrupt the book or stuff like that. Uh, okay. Well, you, you know, know what? Was, that there was okay. many corruptions in the Bible too. Ah, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I, I heard that Muhammad is in the Bible too. No, nah, that's not true. That's true. Uh, what is true that's then? What true. is true? Where where we can find Muhammad? Can we can we find Muhammad in the Quran? In the Quran? Yes. Yeah. Where? So. Where? Where? Yeah. Uh, There's a chapter. It's called the chapter of Muhammad, but it doesn't say who is this guy Muhammad. Do you know who is Muhammad? Mm -hmm. Who is Muhammad? Mm -hmm. I'm looking. There's a chapter, it's called Chapter of Muhammad. But who is Muhammad? Tell me, he's the Quran in front of us. Who is Muhammad? He... He's what? Hello? Are you there? No, I'm not there. I'm here. There. No, you are here. <laughs> okay. So, who is Muhammad? <laughs> So who is Muhammad? Muhammad is the is the prophet. What prophet? Where it says okay, who, who is Muhammad the prophet? Shouldn't we know? I mean, you make a book, you say is Muhammad. Okay, who is Muhammad? Muhammad is the prophet of Islam, the prophet of God. Muhammad, where is this guy? Where he was born? Who is his father? Who is his mother? He was born. He was born in Mecca. I think where his says, mother. Where, where it says he was born in Mecca. I don't know, even, 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 even uh, hmm. the life of Muhammad was written down by Ibn, Ibn Hisham, I think. Uh, so Allah, he forgot to write the life of Muhammad. He gave us Quran. Okay. It's Ibn Hisham, so, I think. So how we will know Ar that this Muhammad is the same one who was in Arabia? If he wasn't in Arabia. How we will know the location? If you ask that question, you can ask the same question about Jesus. Why? I think you are. I, I think you are trying to divide people. No, the Bible tell us where Jesus was born, uh, tell us which location, 
I don't know which city. I don't know who is yep. the, the mother, even the the the, old, the father the old by testament, birth. The old. Uh, the old the Old listen, Testament listen, listen. was saying. The Old Testament even tell you. Uh, now, uh, the Old now Testament I'm even tell you Bible the children of Adam, their names, one by one, after one generation after generation. Here we have a prophet. He is the most important one, according to Muslims. Who is this Muhammad? Are you thinking that? Um, uh, I know that what you're saying, but are you thinking the people uh, who are listed in the Bible was really for? Okay, my friend, your voice, is, is, uh, your voice is bad. Your voice is bad. Anyway, I think we have enough of this guy. Do we have another Muslim?